Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Matt DiLoretto. All right, 645, it is Mother's Day. And so we do want to honor both of our moms. We have my mom there behind Let me Matt step first. Out of the way real quick. Mama G, <laughs> as my friends like to call her, Mom, I love you so much. She's the most, she's the funniest, most generous woman ever. And I love you, Mom. I wish I could be with you today. And then Matt, we've got your mom too. Yes, uh, you know I do love my mom. This is Tracy. Me and my sister all huddled together there a few years ago on the on the on the rare times that we are together. And um, one of my favorite memories with my mom is when I was in fifth grade, and uh, I was there was a thunderstorm, and I really wanted to chase it. And she was like, you know what? Okay, I'll drive around for you, but you got to tell me where to go because I don't know what I'm doing. So it was just nice that she kind of like helped fan the flames of my weather enthusiasm. Yeah, it, it was Happy a nice Happy Mother's memory. Day, Mom. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Love you. <laughs> well, we've got a beautiful Mother's Day ahead for any of those uh, mothers or mother figures, anybody looking to celebrate outside. We are off to a chilly start right now. Most of us in the 30s, a couple of 20s in the normally cooler locations in the Adirondacks. Look at that, 22 out there in Saranac Lake, 30 in Newport, 31 in St. J, 32 in Plattsburgh. So many of us seeing frost out there, especially because you've got a clear sky over northern areas. Now, farther to the south, we've got this line of high clouds and that was still with us last night, ever so slowly pushing off to the east, and it'll continue to do so today. You can see the line of the clouds runs from about Montpelier down to Brandon and Rutland, so slowly, ever so slowly pushing east as the high pressure to our north becomes better established. Northeasterly flow bringing in much drier air, so the storm system you see off to the south, that's going to kind of meander off the coast and make a little loop to the south, but luckily it'll be just far enough away from us that we really won't be feeling any impacts from this system any longer. Even the clouds clearing out of here. So we got a beautiful Mother's Day ahead. Lots of sunshine, light winds. It'll just feel perfect out there with temperatures in the middle to even upper 60s. And then we do turn warmer this week, much warmer in fact, about 20 degrees higher than we're seeing today. But it'll also turn more humid toward the end of the week. So you'll really notice uh, it'll feel like summer and then no rain for at least another week. So really going to have problems with uh, pollen and lots of allergies in this coming week. So here's future cast. Let's play it out for you. We got the clouds. They're just thin high clouds. So you just see a couple of them down in southern Vermont lasting through the rest of today. Northern areas. I think we should see total sunshine as we head through the rest of the day and then total sunshine continuing even into Monday all day. Look at this. Just a couple of clouds possible coming down from the north Monday night into Tuesday. But Tuesday once again, tons of sunshine for us and temperatures slowly warming through the 70s during this time period. So as far as rainfall goes, not looking like much. We're going through Sunday here, Sunday, May 15th. Big gap over New England, no rain whatsoever. So that's going to cause problems. Could have some issues with brush fires later this week. Certainly the allergies will definitely be keeping an eye on it for you. Now the pollen forecast is certainly not pretty over the next few days. High every day until Wednesday and I think that it will be even very high as we end of the week as temperatures get even warmer and we continue to see no rain until next weekend. So this afternoon really gorgeous day for those moms out there. It is right around average for temp in the temperature department so we'll be in the mid 60s could touch the upper 60s in certain locations 66 here to be exact in Burlington with a light north wind feeling very nice. Another chilly night though ahead. We've got lots of 30s on the map here. 34 in Montpelier, 39 in Burlington, back into the 20s for Saranac Lake. So you certainly could see frost once again, but temperatures rebound so quickly tomorrow. We get up into the 70s, full sunshine both Monday and Tuesday. And then Wednesday is our first 80 degree day of the season with temperatures warming into the mid to possibly even upper 80s by the end of the week into the weekend, turning more humid as well with the chance for storms coming Sunday night into Monday. Lauren?